All right, so this deck list, like most deck lists that we play on this stream is a viewer submitted list. Um, this list was submitted by a viewer, but the core of it comes from an Ali Andrazi article, who is someone who writes for uh, Cool Stuff Inc. Like I do. Um, this is basically red, white, mono sweepers. What is, what is this card? Do I need to read this card? Because I've never read this card before. When half hazard are bombardment enters the battlefield, choose four non-enchantment permanents you don't control and put an aim counter on each of them. At the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have an aim counter on, destroy one of those permanents at random. So this card can destroy lands. Wow, that's really rude. It's triple, it's triple stone raid. That's super funny. The old, the old trips stone rain. Let's do it. Can this deck beat Excellence Binding on Dawn of Hope? Probably not. Game one. Oh yeah, uh, Cleansing Nova kills enchantments. You can you can Cleansing Nova to kill kill Excellence Binding. I'd love to play first. Deckmaster looks like it's good to go. Uh, woof, that's, uh, that's an opening hand. That's an opening hand. I think I mulligan this. Evolving Wilds. I guess Evolving Wilds is good with Crucible, huh? I want to go ahead and shuffle this treasure map away. Just want like the best chance to hit my fourth land or my third land on three. Because if I have my third land on three, Crucible plus Evolving Wild means I hit the, the rest of my land drops this game. Yes, Bombardment notably says choose, which is technically different than target. So it gets around hexproof, which is wonky, but true. Look at that. My Tempo Storm, my Tempo Storm box in the lower, lower right looks like it fits in perfectly. Wasn't sure how the sizing on that was going to be, but it looks like it fits well. The Crucible animation is very, very good. It's half the reason to play the card, let's be honest. Yeah, we get to we get to start memorial of warring them every turn eventually here, which is sweet. Thanks, Kason. Hey, Wraith PK. I was really excited when I saw the headline on Reddit. I thought you had brewed some kind of storm deck with Delvers and TT. After reading the article, I guess what it actually means is pretty cool too. Thanks for the biddies and the support. I appreciate it. They're blinking my crucible back to my hand. Yep. Yep. They understand what this game's about. They know, they know what's up. This card's technically drawing me a card every turn, right? It's pretty good. Yeah, we get another edit. Maybe. They're probably a big meanie and have a counterspell. No, I don't think so. That was, I almost put my own banners down there. That was, seems like a pretty, pretty natural spot. Do I slam bombardment? Always such a chill stream. Happy two months. Frumbles, thank you for the resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Do I want to just jam bombardment? I could just like pass and then step memorial then. Let's just do this. I have the Twitch mobile app does not sort based on viewers anymore and it's really annoying. 
I think it's doing some kind of weird algorithm to try and get more viewers to people who have less. It, re it reminds me of Twitter sorting my timeline by something other than chronological order, and it's really obnoxious. I have to imagine game one, this matchup's probably challenging for us. Yeah, they did they did finally add the ability to have your Twitter your official Twitter app sort chronologically. They had removed it at one point. Don't negate me. Ding. Animation is so good. Thank you for gifting us a second animation opponent. We appreciate you. Thanks, Corto. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting 2019. Magic's Magic's a real esport now, and I say that and I say that for the first time in a way that's not just a joke. Alright, so uh let the strip mines begin. This this destroys any land, chat. Not just not just non basics. This this destroys any land. Go. Oh, they only have one white. Yeah, I should have cut them off of white. Good read. I was super pigeonholed on wanting to take them off of blue eventually, but you're super right. I wasn't paying attention. All right. With these Fountain of Renewals sitting in play here, I can kind of afford to take a hit or two from this. Especially while they're missing land drops. It is the most fair wasteland ever. Could not agree more. Sure. And they kind, they kind of just have to do this, right? Woo, doggy! This deck is hilarious. Just, <laughs> are we, are we done here yet? What are we, what are we doing with ourselves? That's fantastic. How cheap are new standard brews? Uh, it's $10 to add a deck that you've built to the queue. For $25, I will build a deck around. I will do a build around for you. That was, that was fantastic. That was, that was truly a gift. I am, I am super excited for what we just experienced there. It's a Blasting Cannons matchup. This has to be a Blasting Cannons matchup, right? The Matic Compass probably isn't great. Update green red frenzy just 10 Talrand. Updating updating my existing decks is fine at 10. I would love to update green red frenzy. I don't know why there's an amulet of safekeeping. I don't think this is a Lyra matchup. 
I probably don't need seal aways and compasses though. It's good versus white weenie. How, how is this good versus white weenie? Do they have that many tokens? Yeah, it seems like a really narrow card for exactly the tokens matchup, right? Will you build RN8X out of the gate? Yeah, yeah, right out of the gate, Coder. When when the new set releases, I'll be giving Wizards of the Coast probably two or three hundred bucks to get get the full set. You know, we're not we're not free to play on this stream. We we open our wallets and then smack our opponents across the face with it. Hey, Talran, thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Let's get Sword Tooth Frenzy combo in the queue then with the update. Sounds good. Thanks for the support. Yeah, I might, I might cut the amulets out of the sideboard. They seem like some narrow nonsense. You made me dinner? Mm -hmm. Oh, made me dinner. I love you. Could you bring me a monocle sauce? Sure. You're the best. Listen, if you've never dipped your, your pizza in sauce, you're really missing out. Uh, so there's, there's a, there's a pizza place, um, there's a pizza place near where I live called Monocle's Pizza, and they have this really good sweet and tart sauce that I, that's fantastic with pizza. Give her. It's actually salad dressing. It's actually salad dressing, whatever. It's like, it's similar to ranch. By that, I mean, it's similar to Thousand Island probably, right? It's similar to like French. French, okay. Or Catalina. Well, my opponent is playing Drake, so they could be a more aggressive Jeskai deck. It's possible I'm boarded slightly incorrectly. All right, I'm gonna mute and grab some bites to eat to bite here in between in between some cards. Hey, Gokai, thanks for the two months. I appreciate you re-up and welcome back. Love your content. Glad to catch you all live one on YouTube. Watch you on YouTube all the years. Grail, thanks for the three month resub. I really appreciate that. I like fruit on pizza, Gerald. I've got pineapple pizza. Listen, chat, there's two types of people in the world. There's people who like pineapple on pizza and people who are wrong. Make sure you're in the correct category. I don't think we're quite at the Banefire portion of this game yet. I think I'm still looking for... Let's just try to hit a land naturally. Star of Extinction. All right. 
Do I... I think I'm just gonna hang out and grind some cards here for a second. They're not putting me under any pressure. Arc is great. It's a good way to generate card advantage that they can't counter. Dawn of Hope also generates some card advantage. And I'm sure, I'm sure I alienated large parts of my audience there just now. There's like, there's people up there that are like, he puts dressing on his pizza and he puts pineapple on his pizza. Just entire groups of people have like left my stream to never return now. Listen, we don't shy away from hot button issues on this stream, unlike some people. I know there's some channels that tiptoe around the hot button issues, like treating people with respect and whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza, but we tackle the issues head on here. Hey, Ectoban, thanks for the four month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Jam this bombardment. Oh, do they not? Do they not have a counter spell? If they don't have a counter spell, this game's probably over. Holy gosh. They are. They are super dead. I pick this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, baby. We Hearthstone now, boys. Pew! Get him. Get him. We, we really are an eSport chat. All right, I think I'm going to cut. If Amulet is gatekeeping the sideboard are kind of some hot nonsense that I'm not sure what they're doing here. Let's put an extra fight with fire in here and the last seal away. We're still just like trying to get a feel for what this deck is doing. Play some games here. They said Ollie was mostly playing best of one, so... It would make sense that the sideboard's not stellar. Another Crucible could potentially be really good in the sideboard for the control matchup. I can see that being reasonable. I believe this is an Ali Andrasi creation. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Do 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 do. MTG Nerd Girl with the host, by the way. Thank you very much for that. Welcome to folks coming over from her stream. Hope you had a good first stream with your with your Tempo Storm stuff up. It's an exciting time for Magic the Gathering. Welcome, welcome to folks coming in from her. If you're familiar with myself, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full time here on Twitch. We do a ton of ton of mostly constructed magic on this channel. I know Nerd Girl does a lot of limited. 
So I do pretty much all all of my magic arena time is spent doing standard on arena. I also do a little bit of modern and legacy on on uh, on magic online. Temple of Tilt, Temple of Tilt. Do, 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 boo, boo, boo. I also eat pineapples on pizza. If you have, if you need to know, if you need to know what I'm made of, it, it involves pineapple on pizza. I apologize if that offends you. Actually, I don't. I don't. Pineapple on pizza is excellent. So, I'm assuming my opponent's gonna play more stuff out here, so I'm gonna try and get a little bit greedy with this Deafening Clarion. It looks like we're getting rewarded. Hey, thanks Ween. Good evening and good weekend to you and yours too. Have some land. Bye, friends. I think... Are you starting to activate this? I might just start activating this. Just start activating this. Now, I wanted to be resource efficient. Compass is a great hit here. Let's just hit our next few land drops. I like this deck. This deck doesn't have a ton of lands in overall. It's only playing 24. But between like the compasses and the Crucible of Worlds plus Evolving Wilds, we've got a lot of ways to hit our lands consistently to get up to our like five, six, and seven mana spells, which is nice. That was the big announcement, Viper. Welcome. Good evening. So we have to go ahead and hit them with this, and then pay two and draw a card off the Dawn of Hope. Thank you. Put this compass over. Donna hopes like the the slow grind wind condition. Just like, all right, twenty turns from now, you're gonna be great. All right, so I've got 
Let's do whenever one or more non token vampires you control attacks, it does a thing. Let's play Immortal Sun. Attack Matutu in here. But this counts itself, right? I guess I guess I'm actually just gonna hang tight here. Because if they attack with this, I'd like to block with my 2 2. Immortal most foul. Am I gonna star of extinction this 2 2? I'm probably gonna star of extinction this 2 2. Like, I kinda like just like get this out of my hand so that I can like free reign make a bunch of tokens that I have to worry about sweeping them off the board. Man, treasure map's kind of busted for one mana, huh? Sounds great. Kill your only dual land. I'm really hoping we get best of three ladder here at the end of this ladder season. Playing against just random cards I own decks is not, not ideal. Although there's been less of them since we played a few matches and got our MMR up a bit, but still a non-zero amount. A Johnny. Okay. Uh, I was going to say, kind of getting punished for having played my thing, but Immortal Sun actually locks that out. You are in need of support. Uh, I didn't play Cleansing Nova because it's the it's the cheaper of the two cards I had. Killing the land was irrelevant. Like, killing the land's probably never going to be relevant. I don't care about Planeswalkers because of Immortal Sun. Although, now we'll just go ahead and Cleansing Nova this. Miss Misclick there would have been real bad. So glad we didn't do that. Look at that. Free. What's a better price than free? Yeah, and when I say when I say cards I own, I don't necessarily refer to I'm not necessarily referring to brews, more so than I am like players who like don't have any rare cards. Like brews are really sweet. I like playing against different random ideas. Like a lot of what we play on the stream is random ideas, right? But they're not we're not playing like budget constrained ideas, basically. I don't I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. I think I'm actually just like not doing this. I'm actually just like making two twos and attacking, right? We're just like on the ready to kill them with two with these at this point. It's Bar what does Bombardment even do? I'm just like, I think we're just hammering Dawn of Hope and then killing them. Yeah, optimal, optimal play is kill them, I think. I'm just like declining drawing cards so I don't deck and just like pounding out. Thank you for continuing to donate our money to Twitch, wife. Enjoy, enjoy the emotes of the children. I don't play the second Dawn of Hope, so you don't have to decline as many triggers. That's, that's the next next level play right there. Don't play the second Dawn of Hope, so you don't have to decline so many triggers. Holy Elvis with the brand new Prime support. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me in play here. I appreciate you shipping your Bezo bucks this way this month. Yeah, auto auto yielding would be really nice. It's one of the one of the features Magic Online has that Arena could really use. Um you can always find changes that I would make to a deck list in the wrap up section at the end. So if I mention, if I don't mention changes at the end of the video, I likely wouldn't have changed anything. Yeah, see, like if this was magic online, I could like right click on this and hit always yield, always no. Do I want more knobs? I mean, like I'm American, so I could like eat more, but I'm probably full. So I think I should stop. What do you think, chat? Should I eat more pizza? This is, a, this is a pretty important question. Oh, 
Always, always more pizza, huh? USA! USA! That's quitter talk! <laughs> Thanks for the bit spikes. You made me go get cheesy breadsticks. Oh God, we're gonna have to decline so many triggers here. Uh, double lifelink is not a thing. Oh gosh. And they're gonna gain so much life. A murder most foul. The best thing about the USA Shade is every American does it at the same tempo intrinsically. It's the same tempo as a bald eagle's heartbeat. Things that might not be factually correct for 100. Oh no! Oh no! Decline! Decline! Oh, I can't. E I can't even space bar through to decline. I have to. I have to sit here and click it. What a tilt! Interface, please. Interface, please. Thanks, relative. Good evening. Hope you're having a good weekend. I brought you a small slice since you couldn't decide. She brought me only a small slice, chat. Because you couldn't decide. Ew, we got all those, like, random pineapples laying on your plate. Yeah, they really stacked up. Was this Domino's Pizza? Yeah. I ordered double pineapple. It actually was a double pineapple probably wasn't necessary. You like it. I did. That's why it all fell off, though. But it was, a, this, it was for a two-topping pizza. Like, what else was I supposed to do? Couldn't leave value on the table. God, I can't leave value. Can you hear that? Can you tell I married a gamer? Couldn't couldn't leave the value on the table. Had to had to get the second slice. Had to get the second topping. My Neo bars got here real quick. Yeah, prime shipping. Mm, I don't know how people live without prime chat. Hash, hashtag sponsored, by the way. I like free food. Free food's the best, especially when it's delicious candy food. Listen, we time people out who are wrong here. And if you say things like pineapple is disgusting on pizza, that's an easy, easy trip to the 10 minute timeout. Okay, we have, we have standards here in Hooglandia. Listen, Tony, you're lucky, you're lucky you pay my bills. I'll give you a pass on that one. You know what the best part about winning the game this turn is? I don't have to decline all these triggers. That's the that's the best part about winning the game here. Because I don't have to decline all those triggers. I think I just click submit against a creature deck. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Big Beanie, thanks for the biddies, I appreciate it. Lear in a close could be okay, I could see that. 
can definitely see that being a thing. Lyra is definitely good for like the Drake's matchup, right? She blocks meaningfully there. Hey, thanks, Vanir. Glad you're enjoying best of three. Yes, the Tempo Tempo Storm deal, along with who comes with all of their wonderful sponsors like Red Bull and Nvidia and DX Racer, was the one I was sent to get a little bit ago. Hey, Niv, thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Amulet of Safekeeping would be really good here. Why did you cut it? That's true. It actually would be really good here. My opponent put me on the play. Awkward. If you're a newer Magic player, you should always want to be on the play in, in Constructed. The amount of tempo you gain from being on the play is far more important than any amount of extra card that you get from being on the draw. Really cool that you're on Tempo Zone now. I love Raiden since he started Hearthstone. Thank you. <laughs> started with Hearthstone. Thanks for the eight months, Uncle. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. It's gonna be gonna be an exciting, exciting 2019 year for Magic and Hoglandia in general. Their clock isn't very fast here. I might just try it. They don't speed up their clock up here. I might just like wait and Star of Extinction them in three turns. We shall rise with the 14 month resub. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. I appreciate it. Do I play around them playing a Lord next turn? Nah, I don't think so. I can take one big hit here. Did I ever play Elder Scrolls Legend? A really small bit. Never, the intro didn't capture me enough to ever give them any money. Chance creatures 1-1 one, one, and lifelink. Sure. Yeah, my back, my back is just about just about 100 percent I carried carried Declan around a bunch this afternoon. Which he was, which he was pleased with. He was very, very upset that I had not been carrying him around. Alright, so we're taking a hit for six here, down to 13, then I'm going back up to 14. Do I have a favorite video game? Magic Arena. Can I, can I say Magic Arena? I'm gonna say Magic Arena. This is it's the Magic the Gathering video game. So this is 8, 11. Do I just take this hit? I might just take this hit. Can I go to one? I think I'm gonna go to one, right? This is eight, 10, yeah, I'm gonna go to one. I mean, I have, I have Fountain of Renewal. I'm not, I'm not stuck at one. We're going, we're moving on up. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Rain it down. Kill it with fire. Boom. Right, swimmy dude. If you'd have told me, if you'd have told me six months six months ago, I was gonna be. If you'd have told me six months ago that I was gonna be signing with an esports team at the start of 2019, I'd have been like, oh, artifacts gonna take off, huh? Not oh. Oh, magic's gonna take off. This is this is definitely a strange timeline, and I can't say that I mind. I can't I can't say that I mind. All right, get rid of some of these lands, shall we? Artifact. Well, I mean, really, who could have predicted 
that Valve was gonna mess that up as badly as it got messed up, right? Who, who could have predicted? So I actually tried to play Artifact the other night and it, it was, it's just, it's just not a fun game. At least in my opinion, it's not. Yeah, I just, it's, I just don't enjoy what it's doing. Oh, is that a good one? How do we, how do we feel about that one? I like how it randomly mouses over all of the things while trying to pick the one that it's going to destroy. I think the biggest problem with Artifact is even if you find the games engaging, the game's just hard to follow if you're not putting all your energy on following it. Which means as someone who like makes a lot of magic content, a lot of people watch magic content and TCG content in general in my experience as background noise, which means if you're if you have to have your primary focus be on, be on, be on a card game, it's generally not going to end up well for you. Is stream content changing or they give you a pile of money to do what you already do? I get the freedom to keep doing what I already do. So the only the only thing that changes, if you notice, there are some uh, sponsor panels below my stream now. And there are a second scroller down there below me with the DX Racer and Red Bull and all that stuff on it. I would love to pay two and draw a card. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna draw another one. Clary on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are gone. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Oh, you know what? I should have Star of Extinction them, right? To destroy their swamp. What's going on, Chris? Good evening. You know, when this, when this deck gets going, it's kind of incredibly unfair. And I, we're going to get rid of those Settler Wreckages because we're not doing that. Oh, I should have been the seal, the, the seal aways actually, right? Because their things have Vigilance. All right, let's make let's make the proper decision now. This is this is what Twitch chat wants, right? Just destroy your swamp, destroy your board. Play this memorial to war. I have 28 cards in my library. We got plenty. I only have one Crucible. I think it's pretty important that we send a message and leave our opponent with almost nothing here. Boop. Give this, give this planes a love tap. Have you ever hated your opponent so much you wanted them to have no cards left over when you were done? Golly, do I have the deck for you. They drew a land, what a lucker. How, how lucky, drew a land. Guess we'll, guess we'll just have to figure out something to do about that. Our deck is like mono sweeper, so yeah, it's probably pretty good against aggro.
We're gonna be very careful not to play out the second Dawn of Hope this game, so I don't have to clear too many triggers. This deck, this deck basically embodies everything Twitch chat loves about magic. Man, is it worth killing my tutus to send the message that I really hate their lands? It might, it might be worth killing my tutus, honestly. All right, never mind. Where's, where's my extra bombardments, really? We find another bombardment, we could shoot down a bunch of their stuff here, too. Opponent's playing to the outs that my fiber... Opponent must not realize I have fiber internet. They're hoping that I'm playing on Comcast. I'm going to get disconnected. So, we're never going to get another emote slot on this channel. Because I have way more emote slots than my current sub points would, would allow. Because at one point we had a crazy flurry of sub gifts. Wow, that's rude. We were we were at one life one point at one point this game. Happy anniversary, Jeff. Glad to see you have a video game sponsor. I'm proud of you. Put this towards the, some form of the aristocrats, please. We'll do Rycat. Hopefully, we're going to get some sweet aristocrat decks in standard soon. This is what I think about your stuff. Oh, we drew two bombard beds. All right, let's just take care of the rest of these pesky permanents. Oh, I can't choose enchant beds. All right. Um... Yes, if you're gonna put money into Magic Arena, the welcome bundle is worth your five bucks. You see an LGS had an event to their stores was executed through Arena. Yeah, I think that I think part of that's gonna be the future. I think I think without a doubt, Arena is the future of competitive magic. It's not the future of magic in general. Like paper magic as a social event is always going to be a thing. But as far as like competitive magic is concerned, I think any non-Star City Games type competitive magic is going to move to Arena, slowly but surely. This Plains is very, this is a very lucky Plains. They should, they should take that Plains and like frame it or something. Very, very lucky. I think Caleb won't curse when he does sponsored streams. No, they gave us, they gave us freedom to just do whatever we want. They, they expect us to be able to know how to manage our brands. All, all the people that Tempo Stone brought on, they're bringing us on because we have, we have named for ourselves and know how to, know how to manage ourselves a good bit. They're not going to be interfering with the day-to-day -day of our streams. Okay, not, not having a chest clock is fantastic. It really is, Jin. Thank you. Super exciting. We were we were at one health at one point this game. Remember, the health total is not a scoreboard. Oh, that's a crucible of worlds. Oh yeah. Let's uh let's start rain them every turn now. We are gonna get to bombard them here in a second. I do I do need to make sure I can kill them from 25 before I deck out. There are only 14 cards in my deck.
Is we are kind of racing against that. We should we should be okay though, right? Let's see if the lucky planes can survive again. What do you think, Chat? Can the lucky can the lucky planes survive again? Triggers. Lucky, lucky planes bit it, chat. Lucky planes not so lucky this time around. All right, all right, no, stop it. I wanted to, I wanted to do it. All right, listen, this whole land that you have in play, I'm not okay with. We need to, uh, gonna need to fix that. That's a, that's a problem. Can we get that? Can we get that out of here, please? Thanks. Sweep, sweep that one right into the garbage can. Oh no, that's, that's the tipping point, right? That was where they could no longer win. That was, that was the one that put it, put it up over the top. Sure, sure. How we doing folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night to everybody who are out in the world. Thanks for dropping in here today. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full time here on Twitch. We play a ton of standard best of three here on Magic Arena. We also play some modern and some legacy on Magic Online. If you find yourself enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the people that keep me employed here full time. I wouldn't be here day in and out without their wonderful support. Past subscribing. You can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. The NRG Championship Series is a Midwest tournament series for Magic the Gathering. They do $5,000 cash tournaments every single month in the Midwestern United States. Um, their next tournament will be a modern tournament coming up next weekend on Saturday, January 12th. If you're not in the Midwestern United States, you can also find their stuff online. They stream their tournaments every single month at twitch.tv forward slash NRG series. Cardsphere.com will help you turn your cards into other cards directed to the players. There's no haggling, and they just take 1% fee off at the top. Inkgaming.com will love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. You can upload your own custom artwork or choose from the range of custom artwork they have on their website. And of course, I'd like to shout out everybody out there in Hoaglandia. Thanks for dropping in here today. I do appreciate you stopping in. I know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff here on Twitch, and I appreciate you spending part of your Saturday or Sunday in some parts of the world here with us. Head on into our next match here with the White Red Prison deck. So far, we've ended two matches in a row by uh by destroying a whole lot of lands which has been a good time what does tempo so Jin asked what does tempo storm mean for my content here F so functionally in terms of like what i'm doing in my day-to-day -day, actual nothing changes for me which is great we have extra sponsor scrolling down below nvidia red bull dx racer the tempo storm stuff looking for a third land here so let's bottom that Yeah, this deck seems like it should beat up most things that have a lot of creatures in them. Since we have so many sweepers in our main deck. So, if we draw a third land next turn, we will hit all of our land drops the rest of the game. Yeah, that's true. All, all tempo, the Tempo Storm sponsorship is the reason why I dropped doing the idea of doing YouTube only content. Because the Tempo Storm sponsorship only pays for uh, Twitch views as opposed to generic channel views everywhere. All right, looking like a control deck here. Gonna bend the Stephanie Clarion. Really glad we have this thematic compass going against a control deck. Get to hit all of our lands here, which is nice. The new sponsor, make it easier to secure the house. So housing, funding, all goes off of historic income. Hey, AJ Crane, I'm a huge Tempo Storm fan and super excited to see you join their team. Decided to shell out for some tier two real dollars instead of Bezo bucks this month. Well, thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, the overlay server should be up. It claims it's connected and yes, preview looks okay here. Yeah, <laughs> what's going on, Divic? Good luck in your classic tomorrow. So giving them something like a counterspell there, even if it isn't a super high impact card, does mean that they're gonna be able to disinformation campaign again here. A vast pirate with the brand new prime support. Welcome, welcome. 
Thanks for shipping your Bezo Bucks this way this month. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch. I appreciate you choosing to support mine with that. Do I go after their Black Swords here? I think I just attack their Black Swords. From all of us who've watched you for years, you deserve all the rewards you keep getting for the work you've put in. Thanks, Jin. I think I pay, do I just, do I just, I think I just memorial them. Just like kill your black source, go. I definitely work a lot, but my job's also a lot of fun. I feel very lucky to have it. Blink of an eye, rough. Was kind of counting on that thematic compass to do stuff for me. Getting counterspelled out of this? Really? Okay, that's good for me. Got excited and spent all my wild cards building this deck, then successfully 06. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have hit the rank button while learning this puppy. It's <laughs> going on day nine. Hope you're having a good start to your year. You're a real gamer. We've got a chair. Just the old. What is. Is their hand just like mono creature removal? Their hand must have been like mono creature removal, right? I really like this history of Benalia sideboard plan for the interactive decks in the format. Get to like bring in these. Vance's Blasting Cannon seems fine here. Bean fire and fight with fire, kill things as well. Maybe, maybe Lyra's not good. They probably have to leave some creature removal in their deck. I feel like I could go either way on this. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why they why they blinked when they did. If they didn't have the counter spells set up in their hand, it seemed a little premature. Our hand's very good. And they've mulliganed to five, so let's see where they go. AJ Crane, thank you very much for the nine month reset and the tier two at that. Welcome back. Let me know if there's a deck in the queue you'd like to bump up. My tier two subs get to bump something every month that's in the queue. Alright. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. Two shots at a land, swing and a miss. Soulless triple zero with the brand new prime support. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for sharing your prime bucks this way this month. Nick, rough. They mulligan, but we stumbled. Maybe I'm supposed to leave in the seal aways. They, they're probably a Thief of Sanity deck too. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to leave the seal aways in my deck post board. I can see that. I can see that being a thing. Spurniel, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. I guess this isn't going anywhere fast though, right? Because like I'm gaining, I'm gaining to a turn. Yeah, I'll take a land. I've got, I've got time to find an answer to this. You know, if I did board some out. Yeah, maybe, maybe these history of banalias aren't stellar. I could see that. I'm going to choose to not jam this because I want to activate my treasures map, but not sacrifice these treasures. Remember, these treasures represent potentially drawing extra cards down the line since I have these treasure codes going. Yep. Yeah, that's true. The Nick isn't too terribly scary if I can keep them off of seven. Is this the reading bombardment pause? I 
think I might just jam bombardment this turn. I'm gonna take a draw step naturally, because if I had an untapped land, I can play bombardment without cracking a without cracking a treasure. We could get sabotaged off of this. Honestly, I think if this resolved, I might just target four lands. I don't blame my opponents for having to read Bombardment. I honestly hadn't read that card before tonight myself. I was like, oh, what is this? Now let's put a Scry during my upkeep so I don't have anything useful to do with the uh, cards in my hand at the moment. What do we got? Um, huh. Could go either way on that. I think I, I think I have enough time with the health from these Fountain of Renewals that I could sit and generate some cards. I guess there's a chance this history races them. Sure. Getting a counterspell out there seems like a win for us. We're going to push through those at some point. My opponent just put a card on top of their deck. If they play a... Honestly, I might just stone rain them next turn anyways. Hey, Ba, thanks. I think I, think I need to keep them off there. I need to keep them off their, uh, their seventh mana. So I'm going to keep the star of extinction on my deck here, but I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to use memorial to war rather than the star this turn. And the reason for this is I think it's likely my opponent has a counterspell in their hand. So I want to guarantee they don't flip Nick next turn. Whereas if I play the star and they counter it and then they draw land, they could flip the Nick. I guess if they flip the Nick, they're tapped out and then I could guaranteed star them. So maybe that's fine. There could be merit to just like passing here as well. A couple, couple different things I could be doing. Oh, wow. They messed up. Um, oh, I guess I'm short. Let's do this just in case I draw a removal spell. Well, that's kind of a removal spell. Is there a clear explanation of the fact that you treat your audience like adults? I've learned a lot while grading papers watching your stream. I see. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the kind words. Hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, star, star clears planeswalkers too. And the backside of this doesn't make us discard, right? It just, uh, it draws them cards. It puts something into play. So it's just going to draw them two cards. Yeah, maybe, maybe I just hang tight and, like, let them hit it. I could also just, like, Banefire this for five, so it's uncounterable. I don't hate that either. Might just Banefire this for five. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Banefire it for five here. And actually, I'm not going to crack... I'm not going to crack the clue yet, or the treasure token, sorry. And the reason for that is I'd prefer if they play a discard spell next turn that they have fewer choices from my hand. So drawing an extra card here just gives them choices and more information. I'd rather they not have that since I'm tapped out anyways. Yeah, Banefire, that, exactly right. That's one of the reasons why Banefire is so flexible. In the mid game like this, it's a removal spell. And in the late game, it reads win the game. All right, let's find out if they... Uh they have a two-mana counter here or not? Pretty sure we're on the Jam Star of Extinction plane here. Thematic Compass. If they have a negate, this might get negated. Stop trying to tap both my treasure coves. the dynamite and again i'm not going to draw a card immediately with this treasure code because if they play a discard spell next turn i'd like to not have a spell in my hand for that do 
Well, so far we've been dumpstering everybody. This bombardment card is kind of hilarious. So again, this isn't my deck. This was a viewer sent this in, and this list came from, I believe, the head of uh, Ali Andrazi. Sweet. Thanks for the link. Yeah, he's an article up there. If they're an aggro deck, this hand doesn't have any anti-aggro cards in it, but it's got, like, map, crucible, and... And an Evolving Wilds, like we're pretty good to go here. Congrats on the pickup by Tecco Storm. Roscoe nabbed it. Thanks for the three month three sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. bottom that looks like they could be bant fog so far they built a red white aggro deck from your site and i'm 35 and 5 with it and best of one nice i think i think the white red aggro deck is just very good in general you have to imagine your bant fog matchup's decent right like attacking their land seems like a great axis stop getting rid of my stop And, and we have the Crucible set up here already, which is great. So I get to do this and to appreciate this animation. If you haven't seen it on Magic Arena yet, it's truly wonderful. So uh, this is this is the part of the game where we use Memorial of War every turn for the remainder of the game, I think. They could have they could have Tefri this turn. If they have Tefri this turn, we could be in trouble. We flew, we flew too close to the sun, chat. We flew, we flew too close to the sun. We flew too close to the sun and we got burned. Yeah, we could, we could crack the, crack the treasures, crack the fountain at least. Vomit. Woof. Just, I just wanted to strip mine them every turn, and they didn't want to go. They didn't want to go off quietly into the sunset. I'm not sure that we can keep up with. I'm not sure that we can keep up with Tefri from here. Our deck doesn't have any ways to interact with this Planeswalker game one, right? Oh, we have, uh, I'm a liar. We have, uh, we have, what's it called? We have, uh, the destroy, destroy the, what's it called? Destroy all the things. Star. Let's 
So we'll keep doing this to hopefully keep them off of going anywhere useful. Hopefully we draw a star at one point. Yeah, we set. We set one to the bottom. There's three of those left. Oh, we have an immortal sun too. That's true. Oh, we shuffled. We shuffled after we put the star in the bottom. Yes, we have we have five outs here. Keep up the pace. Oh, that's true. Bombardment's technically technically a way to do it. Might be dead here. Yeah, it looks like they have another Nexus, so we're dead. Remember that time they made Nexus an instant? Anybody anybody else remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Jeffrey's ulting, which is why I'm conceding for those that are wondering. Sideboard plan lines up real well here. Cut, cut a bunch of the nonsense. Bring, uh, bring in all the sideboard cards. Yeah, the enchantment that untap lands at EOT seems real, real obnoxious with, uh, with Nexus in the format. So, because Tefri untaps two lands you control at the end of your turn, Tefri's untapping of lands is a trigger, so you can float two mana with two of your lands in response to Tefri's untap trigger, and then untap the land, and then tap all five to cast a seven mana instant at the end of your turn. Turbo Fog, I don't know about Unstoppable, but Turbo Fog's definitely gonna be, gonna be very good. Read. Am I supposed to play the History of Benalia here? Boy, thanks for the 13 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. I'm going to keep that there. Do you have a recommend thread for getting started using Arena with Wine? It's super easy to use Arena with Wine. You literally just, uh, you literally just install, install Wine Staging and you're good to go. So next turn, they're going to get to do this. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping to hit uh, one of our ways to turn off a Planeswalker or a Star of Extinction for next turn. I play this? I need to pressure. I need to be able to pressure Tefri, right? So I probably need to play this out. My compasses are going to flip over here, which is nice. I guess I could have memorial toward them this turn. Maybe that was right. Oh, it's tapped. All right, well. Thanks, Yabu. Recommended distribution of wine. Wine staging, TD. Ooh, 
that's a good one. So if I activate this, yeah. So let's do this. And then honestly, I think I'm gonna cash in. I think I'm gonna cash in these treasures here. Just get my stone rain on, shall we? Don't mind me. <laughs> Got him. Got him. What are the standard decks you play as best against Jeskai or Javir Control, you think? I think Pirates is pretty good against the Control decks. Uh, Hellboy, the updater for Magic Arena doesn't work through Wine. I just delete my Wine directory and re reinstall it and it works fine. So I guess that's the one asterisk. Easy mulligan. Medium keep. Yeah, I'll keep history on, on the draw. Sure. What is the wine directory? The wine directory is wherever wherever your wine applications get installed to. You can you can set it up so Arena gets installed to its own wine sandbox that we are only blowing away Arena. And I think if you futz with .NET, the updater might actually work, but I haven't done that. Just blowing it away isn't that big of a deal. I'm going to play History of Benalia on three here because if they play Karn on four, I want to be able to pressure card. So I'm losing a scry on the treasure map, but I think it's worth getting the history down to pressure card if they have it. Does my new contract mean the end of MTGO for me? It does not. So they are not dictating the type of content I make in any way, shape or form. They're just saying, hey, Jeff, you do you. And they will support me while I make my content and vice versa while I promote them and their sponsors. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic setup. It's good for me. It's good for it's good for magic in general. Organizations like that really can help promote and progress esports. More people coming in, more eyes getting on on events that as they come up for arena, etc. If they have a cleansing over here, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. I probably shouldn't have played out the second map. They're killing all creatures, really. I wonder if they have another one. They must have another one, right? Feels weird to kill all creatures there if they don't have another one. I'm not going to play this out because I want to play around another Cleansing Nova. I would be so angry to play against this deck. God bless. Trust me. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Shut up, Tefri. You're about to be done. Oh, they want to keep their Azkanta. That makes sense. I think I actually leave that there because I'm going to flip this treasure map over, which will let me cast that next turn. I'll have to burn my treasures to do it, but I'm okay with that. Oh, I technically should scry after I draw. Small, small bit sequence on my part here. They could have negate in post board. Definitely played that card in the sideboard of fog. Boom goes the dynamite. And the Tefri. I'm too old for this. Get out of here. Wow, rude. I liked my treasure map. Thunk. Wow. Wow. All right. I wasn't expecting that to go. I wasn't expecting that to go that way, but it seems like a 
Seems like an okay way for it to go. Side B up. Six seems like it's got a pretty good, pretty good turbo fog matchup. Thanks, Spartan. I think this is probably going to be my last match of the night. I was hoping to go for a little while this evening, but developed a headache. I think I'm going to go lie down. This whole stream and after dark, I'm getting too old for this chat. You stream, stream during the day usually for a reason. So I'm going to need to draw a third land for this compass to work. But if I draw a third land, the compass will make sure I hit all my land drops after that. The headache has nothing to do with the lighting in my stream room. The lighting in my stream room is actually very soft. That's why, that's why it's kind of dim around me. So the decks that are still listed in the stream title for Four Color Friends and Dinos will stay in the queue and they'll be up. They'll be up first thing after we, uh, after we play some. Yeah, I drink I drink plenty of liquids, chat. This is this is uh this was full when we started and it's almost empty. I know how to take care of myself. I'm just I'm just old and it's you know nine o'clock and I was up early. I have children, I'm always up early. Uh no, I am gonna be on tomorrow, but I think tomorrow is gonna be a Oh you know what? I probably should have been the Clary on there. Not that one. I think tomorrow is going to be a moto only stream because Monday is going to be arena only because uh, Monday is the second second exciting announcement. Um, Monday is going to be uh, we're going to be on the front page of Twitch for an hour Monday morning. Here's to my current as you sponsor it. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, I am going to pick up glasses at some point. Actually, I think that's a good good suggestion. Oh, Zs. I like how this Eldest Reborn was literally just Raven's Crime. Just like doesn't even have any creatures to get back. I am in my 20s. I'm actually going to be 28 on Monday. God bless that animation. I appreciate that all that all of chat is like all over my health though. When I mention I have a headache, it's okay. People, normal, normal, healthy people get headaches on occasion. This dream eater is like a gift, really, chat. It lets us get the crucible of worlds animation a second time. Wow, they binned Doom Whisper. Yeah, planes would be great here. Just get to Nova then. Dealer one time. Ew. Ew. Goodbye, friends. The real accomplishment deck is unlocking the animation, right? They do they do get to surveil a bunch here, so they are likely to find another threat. If I hit running lands, I could curve into the star of extinction nicely though, which would be good.
in a way that's running lands, but not in a way that's meaningful. Need, a, need an untapped land next turn. Unless they flip Nick. If they flip Nick here... Oh, they're going to flip. Oh, they didn't attack. That's a mistake. They were so excited to flip Nick, they forgot to attack. All right. Would like to hit an untapped land here. Wait, they didn't reanimate a creature? Their sequence here is super sloppy. Yeah, we should. We should be dead here, but... You know, we're not. So, God bless. I'm actually going to target four of their lands here rather than their Nickel Bolas because the Star of Extinction is going to kill the Nickel Bolas next turn. Oh, they didn't attack because of Seal Away. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, I ain't, I ain't scared. I ain't scared of Nickel Bolas, okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to discard both my Stars of Extinction. I should have been scared, chat. I should have been scared. Oh, no. Oh, no. The pride cometh before the fall, okay? The pride. The pride cometh before the fall. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. All right, one more star of extinction. So close, so close. All right, let's get a bunch of these bad cards. Fight with fire is fine. Extra seal away is fine. Blasting cannon and bean fire are fine. Clarion's pretty bad. Settle the wreckage is pretty bad. I think I'm gonna keep the cleansing nova. All right, let's uh, let's rattle these back and into the high note, shall we? Thanks, what's end? Yeah, super super fun. I think settles bad here because my opponent's pretty unlikely to be attacking with multiple things in a turn. So I'd rather have things like point removal, like seal away and thematic compass, rather than trying to count on settle the wreckage. Settle the wreckage is also a card that's like pretty telegraphed when you're passing with it up. Counter spells also make it sequencing more difficult. That's true. It's a flame axis to consider. I think I'll keep Dawn of Hope. <laughs> I, like, I like how I took the time to explain why the Settle the Wreckage was bad, and then you asked a question that was just... Uh, that reminds... I'm just gonna ignore it. Let's just ignore it. Maybe, like, the Dawn of Hope, like, wins the game eventually, but not anytime soon. Alright, let's blow some lands up here, shall we? So he says that one dead. Kill it with fire. Sure. Really, they took my seal away. Interesting. So I'm going to stop on my opponent's upkeep here. And the reason why I'm doing this is I don't I don't want to blow their land up just yet. Or actually, I can stop on my end step. 
I want to do it after this flips. I want to let this flip before I before I trigger the memorial to war. I want that to uh, flip over for me. So that way I cannot take damage from this phoenix anymore. When someone says this was, said this was a land destruction deck, I was like, that can't work in standard. But, you know, here we are. I did. Myself and uh, Caleb Durward and MTG Nerd Girl all signed on with Tempo Storm for 2019. And then I think I'm happy with how I've sideboarded here. I'm going to go ahead and run it back. Yes, standard builder runs are also submitted via the forum. Instead of a decklist link, just in the comments, um, put what you're interested in having me build around. Uh, the Spyglass is for Tefri decks, I'd imagine. It seems fine. Removal spell, compass did a bunch of land drops. This is going to be my last game of the night. I should have updated the stream title. My, uh, my head's hurting a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a little bit early. I will be back uh, tomorrow morning or afternoon at some point. I think I'm going to do uh, a couple of Magic Online, Online leagues tomorrow, so Modern and Legacy on the old spreadsheets. And then Monday will be all, all Magic Arena all day because I'm going to get some front page time on Twitch. So I want to make sure we're playing the old video games while the uh, while we're on the front page. It's been way too many years being in pseudo hackity being like I must keep going. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely too. I know, I know my limits. Huh. I've been. I might. I might cleansing Nova these two away. No, I've not. Not with wine staging. I think someone else said they had that error pop up once or twice and they just went ahead and uh, restarted it and it worked fine. What is wine? Wine stands for wine is not an emulator and it is uh, software that allows you to run Windows applications on Unix operating systems. So for instance, I'm streaming uh, to you on a, on a Linux computer right now playing Arena using wine technology. Did I just stick the blasting cannon? I think so. Like, we don't, this deck doesn't have, this deck doesn't have discard spells or counter spells in it. So the only way we get through our opponent's counter spells is by just playing our cards into them. Just kind of got to grin and bear it, basically. Grab a land. Play the compass. This might be the second. It it this deck is kind of obnoxious. I'm I'm really pretty glad we decided to give it a try. It's definitely, I wasn't. I had low expectations going in, and just like the land destruction axis that this deck is attacking from is like really gives it a lot of play against the control decks that I was not expecting it to have. All right, sweet, and that lets us just stick the immortal sun here before they can discard it out of our hand, which is great. Yeah, there's one Crucible. There's a deck list on your screen via the Stream Decker widget. Alternatively, you can also type exclamation point deck in chat to get a direct link to the deck list. Leap of Sanity. Those, their creatures don't even really matter here because they have these thematic compasses. I like also have this seal away, which is great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate one of these to draw an extra land, but I'm going to keep the other compass active so I can guarantee not get hit by this Thief of Sanity. Getting hit by Thief would be really annoying. So remember, this one does not untap when it transforms, so this one that I activated stays tapped for a turn cycle here. I 
So next turn will be Memorial to Warring their ass Kanta. Try and cut off their card advantage engines. Sure. And this is this is the reason why I decided to leave the Spires up here rather than being greedy and digging another basic out. Because if they had a discard spell to take my seal away, they would have hit me with the Thief of Sanity. Which would feel real bad. Fox News coming in hot with the disinformation campaign here. It's a sweet hit. I'm gonna go ahead and just play this now. Grab the rekindling Phoenix. How does this deck win? We have two, we have three copies of uh, a card that kind of wins the game at some point. Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope's the one. That's the one. That's the winner. This deck is great. I just stone raid my motto red opponent out of the game while they were under their own frenzy. That's great. Like, like most of my favorite decks in this stream, Sodium is the real win condition. Isn't Sodium the win condition that binds us all together? You don't, you don't win so much as you try not to lose. Jeez, and I can still activate Arc this turn. God bless. Yep, yeah, the immortal, the immortal stud has Nick covered for sure. All right. It's a cash triple stone rain here. I'm just going to go ahead and fight with fire Nick here because there's a good chance I don't get to keep this card in my hand anyways. Uh, by default, Magic Arena should have the auto tapper on, so if you just drag your cards out into being played, it should cast them for you. you should choose which lands. You just drag the spell into play. You don't have to click on the lands individually. I forgot we had a command. Commands are great. Yeah, the, auto, the auto tapper is life changing. It's the single best thing about arena. Excellent, excellent. Opponent, opponent has decided they value their time more than this and understand where this game is going while we're drawing three cards per turn. So Ali had mostly been playing this deck in best of one. So we played his main deck card for card My only thought as far as the sideboard goes is that it's possible we want a second Crucible of Worlds. What's going on, Penguin Cuddles? Thanks for that. Thanks for the biddies. I think if you're playing best of three, you quite possibly want a second Crucible of Worlds in the sideboard. So that way you can have that card consistently against control decks, whether or not it gets destroyed or countered. This card seems very good in those matchups. So um, if you're looking for something fun and wacky and you like blowing up lands in standard, I would recommend, I'd recommend checking this one out. Uh, that's gonna be it for me for tonight, folks. I'll be back uh, tomorrow at some point uh, with some Modern and Legacy on Magic Online, and I'll be live all day Monday with standard best of three on Magic Arena. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch all y'all around later. Remember, if you wanna watch more of my content, you can check it out on my website and my YouTube channel. I break everything up there on my decks. You can watch just the stuff that you care about. So catch all y'all around later. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. If I don't catch you.